Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how I made these Valentine's Day earrings. Before we get into it, we had a giveaway in our last video and Raven Fira, I hope I'm saying your last name right, you are the winner that we selected at random. I left a comment for you from the last video, so just go and check that out so you can claim your prize. Thank you so much to everyone for entering. We definitely are gonna do giveaways in the future, so just be subscribed and keep your eyes peeled for those. I'm gonna start off by making these sweetheart earrings. I have Sculpey Primo and I'm using this pastel purple and pastel pink. I tried to match the colors of the candies as close as I could. I wanted these to be thicker than I could get on my pasta machine while also making sure everything was even. So I'm grabbing two cake pop sticks. You can use whatever you have as long as they're the same thickness. And I'm gonna use those as a guide to roll out this first color. I wanted to give these the same texture that the candies have, so I've grabbed my clay tool and I'm just stippling along the edges all the way around. These went into the oven to bake and then once they were completely cooled, I'm using Posca pens for the writing. I have absolute chicken scratch, so I just stuck with the simple XO, but you could add really cute, be mine, say yes, text me, whatever you like. For my love letters, I've cut down some white clay into little rectangles. I just eyeballed them as best I could. And then I'm gonna crisscross over the center going into each corner using my long blade. For the stamps, I'm rolling out small little balls of red clay into a teardrop shape that I'm just smushing against my work surface and then cutting into the top and using my tools just to shape them into teeny tiny little hearts. For the box of chocolates with the matching lid, I've rolled out some red clay and then I'm gonna punch out a couple of hearts. I always do a few extra in case I mess one up. I cut out a long strip, just trying to keep it relatively the same thickness. And then I'm going to place that around the base of my box of chocolates, just very gently guiding it around, trying to maintain that heart shape. I've grabbed some dark and light brown for the chocolates and I'm just trying to roll them into balls and then with each piece, kind of push it down against my work surface as I twist it just to flatten the bottom. It makes it look a little more chocolatey and then I'm shaping them into circles and squares. Once I added the various toppings, I just gently picked them up and placed them into the box of chocolate. You might have to do a little Tetris to make them all fit in there, but eventually I made it work. I finished these off by adding a ribbon across the top of the lid for the chocolate box, and then I made a small bow as well. I made myself a template for the EXO earrings just by tracing one off the computer that I liked and I'm very gently cutting these out of some hot pink clay using my X-Acto knife. Mine was definitely a little rough around the edges so if you take your time you can get a much cleaner cut than I did. Before I put these in the oven, I have some really fine pink glitter that I'm sprinkling over top. I'm just going to very gently buff that in and then clear away the excess. When they were baked, I added some resin on top just to make the glitter pop a bit more. And I just dabbed that on and I'm spreading it around with my silicone tool before throwing it under my curing lamp. I really wanted to make some chocolate dipped strawberries. So I grabbed some red clay and did my best to shape it so it actually looked like a little strawberry and then added my indents using my tool going all the way around. I 
I used a flower cutter I had and punched out some green for the little leafy top of the strawberry, which I learned is called a calyx. I hope that's how you pronounce it, but Google may have led me astray. And I'm just gonna very gently shape that just to give it a little more texture and then press that down on the top. At this point, I'm gonna add my pin and I'm gonna bake these off for about 15 minutes because when I go to add the chocolate, I'm really gonna manhandle these and I wanna make sure I don't lose the shape. Once they had cooled, I cut out a big circle of my brown clay and then I'm gonna add that on. It's a tapered shape, so it's a little bit tricky to cover it, but just keep pulling out those little pleats and then smoothing it down. And then once I had covered as much as I wanted to, I just cut away the excess with my X-Acto knife. You could stop here with just the chocolate dip, but I wanted to make mine a little more fancy, so I'm adding a swirl of white clay around the base. Now that my earrings are done, I'm gonna add my hardware. For the dangly ones, I'm using some gold chain and I'm gonna secure those to my backings and my little clay pieces using some jump rings. For any of the earrings that are gonna be studs, I use E6000 glue to attach my backings. And you can see these ones look a little bit rough. I always go over with little pieces of clay to fill in any gaps I've missed and then rebake them. And then with a Q-tip and some acetone, I rub that all over to smooth everything out. And here's a little example of before and after. So these are the earrings all finished. I tried to cover everything for more of like a beginner to a little more advanced, depending on where you're at. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.